carry over into the postseason how you play a team in the regular season? Or is this completely different? It's completely different. Why? The games are different. The timing is different. Um, there's no back-to-backs. You only have to play one team. So just completely your focus. There's nothing else to worry about. So you, do you guys think at all about if Ennis will be 100%, if he won't be? Is that something you even think about? No, Ennis will be all right. Yeah. We're not worried about him. He's, he's a tough guy. He'll, he'll, he'll do what it takes to get out there. So you expect him to play then? Yeah. He's oh. a good defender. Um... I mean, honestly, I don't worry about other teams, other players. I just focus on what I need to do as a player. So uh, I really talk about our team. Is your team ready for tonight? What's your confidence level? We've talked about that before. It's usually at an all-time high. Yeah, we're ready. It's just another game. Another game on the road, second round of the, of the playoffs. Uh, we'll be ready. How has the rest had an impact on your preparation? Has it been good to get that rest, or do you feel like it's taken a little bit to get back in the I mean, I enjoy resting. Um, we know we need to work on um, individually and collectively, you know, giving coaches a little bit more time to figure out how to attack. Obviously, we didn't know who we were going to play, but they had some time to kind of, you know, develop some things for both teams. And for us, obviously, we got some, some issues, you know, and, and this, you know, banged up. So the more time he could get, the better. What'd you think of Game of Thrones? It was amazing. It was amazing. Um, the way they switched it up at the end, I thought it was over. You know, I thought I thought the Night King was gonna, you know, take over and then take his talents uh, to King's Landing. Take his talents. And <laughs> then they just switched it up on us. But the, I think there's a real dilemma here now, um, because at the end of the day, Danny is not trying to give up the throne, but John is the rightful heir. You know what I'm saying? So after after they go take care of business in King's Landing, after Arya killed Cersei. It's gonna be some big issues, you know what I'm saying? Because the people in the north are not about to not about to bow down to Danny, you know, the Targaryen, because she's not the rightful, she's not the rightful heir to the throne, and she's not a good leader. So I really look forward to seeing what happens next. Um, I think they could have did a little bit more. Brand, I'm confused about Brand. Like, what's going on, Brand? He, he, they out here risking their lives, and he flying, you know, he flying around the whole episode. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? Scally. He's, I get it, I get it, but like everybody putting their life on the line, he out here chilling. You know what I'm saying? And then the graphics, man, y'all spent 55 days recording this, and it was blurry. It was hard to see. I'm confused. I don't know what the dragon's alive. Is the dragon dead? Like Jamie? Like what's up with Jamie? Is Jamie like Jamie's alive? Right? I don't know. Where's the dog? Like there's so many things. The dog, the the wolf. Like there's so many things that. We're not going to know about for another week, and it's, it, it hurts. We'll come back and re we'll reconvene and discuss. It hurts. The other dragon. <laughs> we were, this is one dragon left or two. Like, <sighs> I mean, it upset you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they're killing me. Yes.